In this problem, we have a fairly complicated looking sine function. We've got y equals 3 times the sine of x minus pi over 4 and then minus 2. And we're being asked to give the period, the amplitude, and the phase shift of the function. So remember, the period of a function, when they say a function is periodic, they mean it repeats itself. And in the case of the sine function, which I have here, this is just y equals sine of x, uh, you know, it starts at 0 here at 0, goes up to 1, down to negative 1, and by the time we get to 2 pi, we're back to 0, and then that same pattern starts all over again. So the period of the function here is from 0 to 2 pi, and every 2 pi, it repeats itself. So the, the period is 2 pi. Uh, the amplitude of the function is about how far it goes above the midpoint and how far it goes below the midpoint. In the regular sine function, the amplitude is 1. It goes up to 1, down to a negative 1, uh, so that's our amplitude. And then the phase shift is how much it's pushed left or right on the graph. All of these things we can determine from uh, these equations. If we look at this general form, y equals a times the sine of b times x minus c plus d. In this general form, a is the amplitude, or the absolute value of a is the amplitude. So this number that's multiplied outside the sine function, that's going to give us the amplitude. In this case, it's a positive 3. So our amplitude here is just 3. And in this function, um, we're going to stretch these, these peaks and these troughs out to 3 and negative 3. So here is an example of that. Here's, whoops, wrong one. Here is the graph of y equals sine of 3x. And same thing starts at 0, goes back to 0 by 2 pi, but it just goes way up to 3 and way down to negative 3 on the way. All right, let's talk about uh, the period of this function now. So the period can be gotten by this formula 2 pi divided by b. And b is this number that's multiplied by x inside the parentheses. And you can see we don't have anything multiplied by x. So we can think of that as just 1. So our period is going to be 2 pi over 1, or just 2 pi. So the period for this function doesn't change. Next, phase shift. So how much we move this graph left or right here. And in, in this case, this depends on this number here. So we've got a pi over 4 as c. You'll notice this is minus c, and we've got a minus up here. So c is a positive pi over 4. And our phase shift is c over b, c divided by b. Again, b is just 1 here. So our phase shift is a positive pi over 4. And this is what that looks like. So these two graphs, you can kind of compare them. Um, this has just been moved over pi over 4. So instead of hitting 0 at 0, it hits 0 at pi over 4. All right. And you know the last thing here is the vertical translation. We've already gotten all the answers that they asked us for, but this part, that's our d, means you move the whole function down to. So the final function here is going to look like this where the function has been moved down two units. So that is how to find the amplitude, the period, the, and the phase shift of a function like this.